What's up guys, Shane Starnes here and Samsung just released the Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I've already got my pre-order in for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but I'm a little more than irritated at the announcement of the Galaxy Note 10 and I'm not sure that I can currently recommend that particular device. These are the top five biggest problems with the Galaxy Note 10. Let's go ahead and get started. My number one problem and the biggest gripe that I have with the Galaxy Note 10 is the fact that it has a 1080p display. Now don't get me wrong, Samsung always does the display right, and I know that the display on the Galaxy Note 10 is still going to be amazing, but why in the world are we going backwards when it comes to quality and resolution? The Galaxy S10 Plus has a PPI of 523. The Galaxy Note 10, a phone with a similar size display, has a PPI of 401. The Galaxy Note 10 is a $950 device, while you can grab the Galaxy S10 Plus for about $750. Even the OnePlus 7 Pro has a QHD Plus display. Why in the world wouldn't we have a QHD Plus display, the best of the best, on such a premium, expensive device like the Note 10? The second issue that I have with the Galaxy Note 10 is that it has a much smaller battery. It only has a 3,600 milliamp hour battery. When you compare it to the Galaxy S10 Plus, you're looking at a 400 milliamp hour difference. The S10 Plus has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a 4,300 milliamp hour battery. I know that the Note 10 has to have room for an S Pen and it is a smaller display. I really don't understand why the battery has to be 700 milliamp hours smaller than the Plus variant of the Note 10. The third problem, which is almost as irritating as my display issue, is the fact that it does not have expandable storage. The Note 10 lacks expandable storage. It only comes with a 256 gigabyte option. There's not even that option for increased storage. You've got to go up to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus for the 512 gigabyte variant and the expandable storage. The Galaxy Note series is supposed to be the best of all worlds. You're supposed to be able to get all pro features on this device and they're removing a feature like the micro SD card slot, which is something that we have come to know and love with all of the Galaxy flagship devices. Now, most people won't need more than 256 gigabytes, but if you're someone that stores a lot of games, photos, music, and videos on your phone, you do a lot of traveling, not having that expandable storage and not having the option for the increased storage, it's probably going to be a pretty big issue for you. My fourth issue has to do with the charging. So I'm really hyped about the 25 watt super fast charging and I'm glad that Samsung has finally gotten around to improving their charging on the Note lineup. You know, we've been dealing with fast adaptive charging since the Galaxy S4, so I'm glad to finally see an improvement. That being said, I'm not sure why they didn't build in 45 watt charging. We have that on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is one of those features that I feel like should have been included on the Note 10 at a $950 price tag. I mean, this is still a premium phone here at $950. I'm not really sure why they didn't just upgrade that to the 45 watt charging capability that we see on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. With 45 watt charging, you'd be able to give your phone a full charge in less than an hour. That is huge. And I really wish that they would have brought that feature to the Galaxy Note 10. My fifth problem is the fact that the Galaxy Note 10 is missing that fourth lens on the rear camera, which means it's not going to have any of those 3D depth effects that you get on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus has that added benefit of having a portrait mode in video, which is pretty awesome. It also has those AR functionalities. The Galaxy Note 10 is going to be missing it. It's one more thing that you're going to have to upgrade to the Note 10 Plus in order to get that feature. My sixth and final problem is a problem that I wasn't even going to mention because in my opinion, it's not that big of a problem. We're just finally to the point where we can ditch the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Most of us by now have a Bluetooth pair of headphones. Bluetooth headphones at this point can be super high quality while also being super affordable. So I feel like removing the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is not that big of a deal. That being said, a lot of you out there are still tied to a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You've got lots of very high quality headphones that require the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Maybe you're a sound and audio buff and you've got to have that audio port on your phone. If that's the case, then the Galaxy Note 10 or the Galaxy Note 10 Plus simply isn't the phone for you. So I guess what I'm trying to say is overall, I don't really understand why the Galaxy Note 10 even exists. It takes so many features away from the premium Galaxy Note 10 Plus 
this feels more like an E version of a phone. So I feel like there should have been three versions. There should have been a Note 10 and a Note 10 Plus. These should have been almost indistinguishable other than the size of the phone. And then there should have been what is now considered the Note 10. It should have been the Note 10 E. And that phone should have been about $799. I feel like the Note 10 is worth $799. I don't think it's worth $950. I think when you put that 950 premium price tag on a phone, you really shouldn't be taking away features, especially a QHD display, especially the expandable storage, especially features like 45 watt charging. These are things that you would expect to see in the phone that's only $150 less expensive. I feel like the reason the Note 10 exists is simply so they can justify an $1,100 price tag on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Don't get me wrong, Samsung is genius for this marketing tactic and the average Joe will probably go ahead and buy the Galaxy Note 10 because they're not going to be concerned with specs in the least. Anyhow guys, that about wraps it up for my top five problems with the Galaxy Note 10. At this particular time, I personally cannot recommend the Galaxy Note 10. I would instead go with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus or something like the Galaxy S10 Plus. What are your thoughts? Do you think that Samsung is justified in taking away all these features on the Note 10 and giving it a $950 price tag? Or do you think that this should be more of an E version of the Galaxy Note 10 and there should have been three versions? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.